Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video it's all about the Honor 50 that finally arrived also on the European global market and uh, I want to give you my verdict and my quick little overview and review of the Honor 50 because I have the Chinese model here using it since a few months already and you saw already a lot of uh, video comparisons uh, photo comparisons and camera comparisons in general about this phone so I want to give you my verdict now on this phone, so let's get started. So the Honor 50 that I have here in my hands is a very unique and slim designed phone. Let's take a look around the design of the phone first and around the specs as well. So first of all we have a very thin phone we have a very light phone with curved screen with a gorgeous back color that uh, first it was putting me a little bit off but when i had it in my hands it's really 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 uh, good and astonishing what the design team of honor has accomplished also the camera bump looks a little bit weird at first but you get used to it and i think it looks aesthetically pleasing with the rest of the body and together with the curved screen, the front punch camera that maybe is a slightly bit too big, it's an overall complete package. I was using it with my Nilkin case most of the time, so not exposing this gorgeous bag to any scratches or anything. And uh, yeah, this is a very grippy case as well, has a nice little pattern on it and I could just recommend this for everyone that has issues with uh, the grip because the phone otherwise is a bit slippery and uh, because it's so lightweight it might be not a good idea to use this phone without any case so this is a pretty interesting design that kind of reminds me of the p50 pro so it has a flagship design has also this light weight design that is pretty awesome that allows you to carry this phone wherever you want to and you don't really feel that you have a phone in your pocket because it is so light on the other hand let's take a look a little bit about and talk about the specs a little bit because i think the battery is something where you could expect a little bit more in terms of battery life battery life is not not bad per se but i think a 5000 milliampere hour battery would be a lot better for the uh, honor 50 and in the future maybe the honor 60 will have a little bit of bigger battery the other thing is 66 watt fast charging so even you have a smaller battery with this fast charging you have the chance to get this battery up to 100 percent very very quickly it took me around 35 minutes which is pretty awesome for this kind of device so you're good to go again after 35 minutes and up to charge when it comes to speed the operating system plays a big role in here uh, honor being honor and being like the sister company of huawei for several years they were sticking to what they knew from huawei already so they used a fork of emotion ui called magic ui since a few years already and this magic ui has been improved and further developed i i'm pretty sure it's the same fork that emotion ui 11.5 or something had before and they stick to it and now with magic ui 4.2 we get what we have here on the honor 50 i think it's a pretty yeah little step away from emotion ui only and pretty useful for those people who are used to using emotion ui on huawei or on other devices before so it's a software that is sleek looking that is fast here and there i would wish it would be a little bit faster uh, but overall experience and speed has improved a lot with updates the 120 hertz gorgeous display is really really awesome and helping this uh, speed uh, or this immersive speed experience the only thing that is a bit off setting is it's a boa manufactured display it's not an lg or samsung manufactured display because we have this color shift very quickly if you uh, turn the device a little bit to the angles and we have also some green tint on the left and right 
I have color calibrated it a little bit to be warmer because usually it is a bit on the cooler side which I also don't like so much. So to get accurate colors I would also suggest you to get a little bit warmer. Usually those panels tend to be a little bit cooler and uh, colors are very vibrant on the panel. HDR 10 support is also there so no issues with this and also outdoor visibility I was using it also still in summer was pretty awesome and no issues with this I think it getting around 800 nits uh, of maximum brightness which is okay for this price region and it's okay for sunlight readability as well what was a little bit offsetting for me is the lack of a headphone jack but this is like nah, a cancer growing in the smartphone industry even for a mid-range device nowadays you don't get a headphone jack. What you will get in the on a 50 European version, at least at least if you pre-ordered it for 499, so almost 500 euros, is uh, the earbuds 2 Lite from Honor. And the earbuds 2 Lite are a good companion for this. Especially, it can produce nice sound, has good ANC, long battery life, so it's a good alternative for the headphone jack in some parts. In other parts, I really would like. To have like a microphone jack but the cool thing about the honor 50 and i can show it to you right now is that you can use every earbud with bluetooth that has a microphone as external microphone as well like those here which are the lg tone free fb8 that i'm testing here right now uh, i'm back home yeah uh, the magic of cutting and this is the front-facing camera of the Honor 50 in dim lit situations because uh, yeah, the day is over already. And of course, I forgot my headphones to bring on this little tool. I thought I have them. This is why I was uh, talking like this. But uh, the magic of cutting. What do you think about this? Of course, this is like probably not the best sound. The free buds and the earbuds too light that uh, Honor offer. Uh, features a lot better microphones and a lot better sound than the uh, tone free but it's just general in general that you can use all headsets that have a microphone which is a nice feature then of course you have always the possibility to use the usb type c port at the bottom which only has usb 2.0 so some limitations here and there so you have no display out or HDMI output on this device. You have microphone input or headphone output if you use one of the dongles. This is working fine, no issues with this at all. And in uh, overall the performance also of the USB-C and the jacks that you can buy is pretty awesome and good. The uh, transfer of audio and video files is a bit slow though. The overall pr processing speed and design of the UI is familiar. If you're coming from Huawei or previous Honor phones, so no issues with that. The speed is okay. Um, for games, you might see something that might be a little bit better, like the Snapdragon 888. Though the Snapdragon 888 tends to overheat in certain situations, so the performance goes a lot down. And here, the 778 might be not as quick as the 888 initially, but it's holding its performance at the same level all the time, so you don't get any frame drops, which is very interesting for gaming. And uh, all in all, I think I'm pretty happy with the speed of the device. So for a few years, you can still use this device without any hiccups or issues uh, regarding the programs uh, stuttering or uh, even games should run fine on it. Um, not in the highest resolution or graphics possible, but in the medium resolution, definitely. Now recording with the Honor 50 and you can hear the microphone that is attached via USB Type-C at the USB Type-C port. Like I said, the camera system is a kind of system that we know already from other devices, but it features a 108 megapixel main camera, which is accompanied by an 8 megapixel ultra-wide, which is like the the mid-range standard nowadays and two useless sensors I would say two megapixel sensors uh, depth and a bokeh sensor yeah, depth and what is it macro sensor and this is yeah a little bit of a bummer I think a bit of wasted um, sensors they should have put like a 13 or 12 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor instead of the two two megapixel sensors that are basically useless and uh, maybe I will do a comparison with this as well so you can see 
if they are really useful or not. So if I cover them, if anything changes at all. So the 108 megapixel sensor is the 1 over 1.5 inch sized type sensor. So it's a little bit also now in the mid-range standard, I would say, because we have the Redmi Note 10 Pro and other devices. But the Honor device managed to get a little bit more out of the sensor than the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This has nothing to do with the sensor per se, but more with the processing, I would say, and also the lens in front, which I think is a little bit more sharp or more, yeah, more accurate or less, uh, has less problems with uh, fringing and other issues that you usually have with those. Uh, otherwise, you can see some photo samples here that I took with the Honor 50 and there will be more linked down there. And of course, uh, there is uh, the tons of uh, comparisons that you can take a look at if you are interested in the photo quality or video quality of the Honor 50. So the Honor 50 is a good mid-range device. There are some uh, devices that are better. The Google Pixel 6 I would yeah, also put in almost the same category even though it's 150 euros more expensive in the basic model. Uh, you have a better camera system there definitely. The Honor 50 struggles a little bit with uh, low light situations, but also the 8 megapixel uh, ultra wide angle is not the best. It's like the standard that you also get in uh, devices that are 200, 250, 280 euros expensive. So this is a little bit of a bummer, I would say, and I think this is one of the major issues. The other issue is a little bit of a lower dynamic range that I would expect it on the main and on the ultra wide, definitely, with overpronounced shadows and contrast that tries to like yeah, overcompensate and over sharpen all the images that try to overcompensate the limitations of the sensor itself. Uh, no issues at all with the main sensor though. For vlogging, I think it's a good device and especially with the option to have Bluetooth headset in your ears uh, that can be used as microphone. This is also uh, out of the box, a very good experience for vloggers as well that don't want to spend thousands of euros on a good camera system. So the Honor 50 can record 4K 30 frames per second. I'm recording 1080p 60 right now and you can uh, only record this 4K 30 frames per second on the main sensor because hmm, the 8 megapixel ultra wide, yeah, cannot work with 4K because it's just 8 megapixels and you need a little bit more space and overhead for recording 4K. At least this is what Honor says. Uh, Huawei begs to differ because they have with the Nova 9 basically the same phone where they have the same sensors for the ultra wide at least and can record 4K. Uh, though I think it is a bit of like cheating. They use some upscaling methods and they use uh, some uh, worse quality uh, for the 4K on the ultra wide angle. Anyway, this is what you can expect in terms of video quality and audio quality recorded with an external microphone. When it comes to multimedia on the Honor 50, this is a pretty good device. It has only a bottom firing speaker though, and this can get pretty loud and bass is also there. So this is not the issue, but for this price region, I really would hope Honor to ship dual speakers and sadly, this is not the case. So what can we expect in terms of video watching, binge watching Netflix, for example, is a bit sadly an issue because we only have white wine level L3 on the global model and here on my Chinese model there's no white wine at all so I have to install an older Netflix version to binge watch my favorite series. Otherwise of course Amazon Prime and uh, Disney Plus and all those they require white wine so only SD quality here for the Honor 50 at least for now. When it comes to other communication devices, other communication offers or comms, uh, Bluetooth 5 and uh, LTE, no issues at all. GPS, it can pretty much get the signal instantly and you have no issues navigating around with the Honor 50. Uh, Bluetooth is working fine with Bluetooth 5, no issues at all. Uh, there are earbuds for pre-sale. If you ordered, pre-ordered the device, you get earbuds, the uh, earbuds too light from Honor that are working pretty nicely as well. So no issues there. And I tested it out with various different devices. No AppDeck support, only AAC and LDAC support. LDAC was working fine with my FIO BTR5. 
when it comes to call quality 4g and 5g are supported i used it mostly in 4g lte and this is working fine no issues at all regarding uh, call quality or regarding lost signals or anything like this so this is pretty nicely working when it comes to telephony and of course multimedia support um, as well but maybe a little bit more can be done on a regarding the white wine certification that would really really help with uh, streaming services otherwise this device performs pretty good when it comes to multimedia consumption youtube for example here my chinese model of course youtube advanced but on the global model you can have google services so no issues at all you can go up to 4k if you want to it is downscaling it to the screen spec ratio and the resolution but no issues at all there with uh, youtube and uh, yeah watching some uh, youtube uh, videos there all in all i think is a good device though the price might be a little bit too high for the 499 euro even though you get the wireless headphones that are a good combo if you want to start vlogging i think for 399 or 350 this would be a much more interesting device and uh, there's uh, the problem is from the last time you know i was probably telling you 590 500 is okay -ish. um the things changed because so many good other smartphones came out in this price category that offer so good hardware and value for money that it's very hard to recommend the honor 50 for 499 only if you're really into the ecosystem of huawei or honor because they're still interchangeable right now and you want something with google services in the same ball league that doesn't cost too much that offers decent camera quality uh, at least for the main camera then this Honor 50 might be a good choice for you. But uh, what do you think? Write it down in the comment section. This is basically everything for my small verdict on the Honor 50. And uh, yeah, until the next time. Bye.